Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit different. I know some of you, if you haven't watched my channel before, you're probably coming on here like, why are you talking about how to be beautiful when you look like that? You look ratchet. <laughs> I was just sitting on my couch and this was something I wanted to film and just put out there for you guys. I just want to be that little bird in your ear today that really puts some positive vibes into you and hopefully makes you feel beautiful and makes you feel good about being a good human being and being a nice person. The media just focuses so much on outer beauty and never inner beauty. I mean, if someone gains weight, oh my gosh, they're being scrutinized. If somebody doesn't have the perfect flawless face, they're being scrutinized. And if you're amazingly flawless, it's like you're, you're being praised for it. And nobody is praising people for having a beautiful soul, which is the most important thing in life. I just wanted to sit down and just share like a few little tips that when I meet people, what I think is really beautiful. And it's just, I think it's something to try and something to kind of work into your daily routine. I'm not going to make this video like 20 minutes long because... I know some of you probably don't want to hear me talk that long. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a few tips to really just hopefully inspire you and to also hopefully just spark something in you to just want to seize the day and make someone's day or make someone smile or something. So, how to be beautiful without makeup and hair. Let's do it. First thing is to smile. Me and my best friend Danny were talking about this last night. I love when I walk into a room and I see someone smile at me. That's just in general. That's with anybody. Like, when I walk into a room, I smile. And some people might be like, who is this girl? Why is she smiling at me? But I'll just do a little nice smile and make eye contact and then do whatever I need to do. Sometimes it sparks a conversation. Sometimes it doesn't. You never know whose day you'll make if you just look at them and just smile. It just changes the energy in the moment between you and another person that you don't know. I think it makes someone so beautiful when they have the confidence just to walk in and just smile. And either and the person you're smiling at can either take it and accept it and be nice back or some people just don't care, which those people are usually going through something and you never know. You might have just made them their day a little bit better, but either way, at least you tried and putting out that kind of positive vibe makes you so beautiful. Another thing that I think makes someone beautiful is when you take the high road, you know what I'm saying, when somebody makes you feel bad or is just mean. I know, <laughs> I know, like, I girls are so bad about this with each other. It's like a competition daily. I just, God, I can, I can meet some of the most beautiful people, but if what comes out their mouth is just rude and gross, it's like, okay. But when somebody tries to bring you down and you take that high road and you just let it roll off your back, that is beautiful. There's no need to go and try to fight somebody or <laughs> do anything like that just because they want to insult you because they're going through something that you have no idea what's going on. Everybody has their own struggles and everybody has something behind the scenes that you don't see and it's just so important to take the high road. This is something that I have been working on and at times I do struggle but I've noticed when I let stuff go, I feel so much better and I don't want to sit there and have an argument with someone over something that's just irrelevant. Life is so short and you don't want to spend it with a sour ass look on your face being upset just because someone says something rude to you. You know what I mean? You just want to let it roll off your back and just let it go and just smile and walk away. I think that is so beautiful and it reflects such a great soul. And it shows your character, and that's so important. One of the biggest things that I find beautiful in men, women, anyone, any human being, is giving to someone who probably won't give back to you. And it's, oh gosh, when I think about how blessed I am and knowing there's people out there that struggle daily, um, it's really... Why am I getting emotional? It's really heartbreaking. So, not everybody can help you the way you've helped them. It's not always good to go into a situation and think, oh, I'm going to give this person this, 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 and then they're going to give it back to me, like, at some point. It's, that's not what it's about. Every time I see someone in struggle, I try so hard 
to find different ways to help them. I don't care if if you're if you're homeless and I give you money and instead of buying food, you go to buy alcohol. That's your decision. You never know. You might just change what they did. They might go buy food instead of alcohol this time because somebody cares and somebody wants to help them in some sort of way because you just you want to give back. Giving back is so important. The more you give back, the more positive things that will come to you. I mean, you can give back in any way. You can give up a seat for an older person or you can help somebody put their groceries in their car. I mean, it's so it's the small things in life that are so important that just get missed and it's so sad to see. But when you do see someone just giving back a little bit and just doing what they can for someone with no expectations for anything like you're not expecting them to come back and return the favor or anything that is so beautiful and that's that's the soul that I love I love people with a beautiful beautiful soul because you would be so shocked at how the smallest thing could just change someone's world and they will look at you like you are the most beautiful person ever they will not care about how you look how you talk what shoes you're wearing how your hair is colored if you're no makeup makeup that they will not see any of that they will just see this giving caring beautiful soul helping them when they didn't ask for it and then I just want to give one more little tip in here and this one's like it's so important and it's it's one of those things where a lot of us are scared to do it. It's to tell somebody something that you love about them. No matter who it is, no matter what you're doing, somebody in your life, there's reasons why they're in your life and there's reasons why you love them. And even if it's just somebody you met for five minutes, tell them something that you appreciate about them. Do you appreciate their intelligence? Do you appreciate their drive? Just tell someone in your life whether they're new or old one thing that you appreciate about them and just a little conversation it might be nerve-wracking especially if you just met a person it's just small things like that and it will make someone's day you know we all get old and gray and people will probably not remember what we looked like 30 years 30 40 years from now but they will remember if you're a good person so I just wanted to pop on here and just, you know, put some positive vibes out there for you guys and kind of challenge you and hopefully this will make you feel beautiful and it will make other people see you as a beautiful person no matter what your hair color is, skin color, makeup looks like, if it's caked on, if it's not caked on, you know, it's it doesn't matter about any of that. If somebody sees a beautiful soul, they will think you're beautiful. So yeah, that's why I have no makeup, no hair done, and I'm actually sweaty and I'm sick. So I hope this brought some light to your day and I hope that it kind of made you feel good about yourself. And try some of these things out and let me know down below what are your tips. What do you think makes someone beautiful? And leave a tip or whatever down below that people can try if you have anything in mind. Or just comment below whatever you're feeling. Feel free to share this too. I mean, it's always good to spread positivity and feel free to share it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't put you to sleep. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I love you all very, very much and I appreciate you more than you know and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be a beauty one. <laughs> Bye guys. Hi. Hi Mimi. So we went on the jet ski earlier and now we're going to... Hey Megan, I'm vlogging by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So then I think we're going to go down there and just kind of hang out in the sun. I look like I got a little tan, but it's probably my self-tanner. Okay. So, I don't know. I put a little bit of waterproof mascara on today.